this is a continuation of the video series called uh, Dismantling uh, Islam with Christian Prince. But this time it, the information comes from his video on his YouTube website called The Christian Prince. And the video, in case you want to see it without interruptions like you're getting here due to the fact it's uh, broken up into a series, is called Muhammad Karan is Amazing. So, yeah. Anyway, the reason why I'm doing this is because, to me, he's the best apologetics person out there, especially when it comes to exposing Islam. He's a Native American speaker, and uh, he can tell you what's really in the Quran and Hadith, and uh, give the real interpretation. So, anyway, I've had him as a teacher for over a decade on YouTube, of course. Watched most of his videos, <laughs> even the ones that got pulled off. And the first one that got pulled off was the one about uh, Takiya. I think it's the Quran 328, 6106, and 2, 225. Anyway, this is a continuation. Prepare yourself to convert to Islam. Prepare yourself to convert to Islam. Guys, if there is a prophet in the Bible, he says that one day for God is equal to a 1,000 year for us? Do we have a verse in the Bible that says that? Who will remember? Yes. Who is the one who said that? Let us see who of you remember and will compose for us the verse from the Bible. One day for God is equal for 1,000 years. This is, by the way, it's not about one day is equal because God doesn't have a time. But it's a figure of speech just to tell us that time for God is nothing. The stupid Muhammad, he took it, he put it in his Quran as a thief. So look with me. By the way, how come the Christian, they don't say, and the Jews, they don't say, oh, we have this in our Bible. It's a science. And our books is written thousands of years before their books. So the thief Muhammad, he stole the verses and he put it in his Quran. However, in the Quran it looked very funny. Why? Let me show you why. First of all, as long as the Muslims they are quoting this as a miracle, and this is a clear, a clear of, of, of fraud. Why? Because if this is written in a book exists before you, and this book is very popular, it's called the Injil or the Bible, shame on you Muslims to claim that this is coming from you. Correct? Shame on you to claim that this is coming from your side, for it is not. Number two. Look what the Muslims, they say. Christian believe that God created the universe in six early days. And rested in the in the seventh day. The fact that Christians don't believe that God he rested in the seventh day. Seventh day. When we say that God he rested, it means it's over. There's nothing more to do. Otherwise, God don't get tired. Is that correct, Christians? So the word rested is about rest. Rest is about nothing is moving no more. That's it. There's no movement. There's no action. It's not about somebody getting tired. However, we can show you that the God of the Quran is the one who rested and he get tired. If we go right now to the Quran, we will find the following. <clears throat> uh, switch to Arabic. I hope you guys are enjoying watching us. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube because everyone who subscribes to our YouTube, Allah will give him reward. 70,000 versions. And they come with the wax. And they are guaranteed versions. Not like, you know, those girls, they say to you in the internet, I'm version. I mean, this is real. All right, 70,000 versions, version after version. I mean, just to bring your trucks with you, bring the, the you have to, you have to bring the biggest train in the history or maybe a cruise ship, 70,000 only. Let us continue. So look what the Quran says about Allah getting tired. Uh, I hate this keyboard. I, I bought this one you put in the top of the keyboard, but this, the Arabic letters are scattered everywhere. This keyboard is made by by a Muslim for sure. I need to buy a new one. Oops.
estaba where is the yeah okay Aleph here we go chapter 2 verse number 29 the funny the Muslims they say they say that we Christians believe that God created the earth in six days and they are the one who believe that God created the earth in billions of years let us get the Abdul busted with their lies this is Quran chapter 7 verse number 54 and I will show you the Muslims translation the Muslims what translations Yusuf Ali Yusuf Ali uh, by the way Muslims if you don't want if you don't like Yusuf Ali we can show you different translation I mean which one you want which one Yusuf Ali Shakir Bittal Bittal here we go is, you know, all of them they always come back anyway. All of them they are working for the virgins, not for their God. You, your Lord, is Allah who created the heaven and the earth in six days. Like, what the heck? It says six days. But the Muslims they told us that the Christians believe in that. The Muslims they believe that God created the earth and the heaven in billions of years. Guys, does it say there in six days? Did Allah in the Quran use the word days? And then he mounted himself in the top of the throne. A guy who worked for six days and then he mounted himself in the top of the throne. What does that mean exactly? He's getting tired, he want to sit? <laughs> Do you see it? It is the Quran who says that Allah, he got tired and he is resting in real, not a figure of a speech, in the top of his throne. Allah could not create the earth when he was in the throne. He had to move down. Is that correct, guys? Is that correct? When I say to you that he created the earth and the heaven in six days, and then he mounted himself in the top of the throne, the question should be, if the Muslim, they say to us that Allah, if he wants something to happen, he say, be, is going to be. Why he need to move from the top of the throne? Are we following, guys? People in Baltok and YouTube? Are we following? Why Allah need to move down from the top of the throne? That's a proof that the Muslims, they lie to us when they say that Allah, the God of Islam, He says, be. If you go in the book of Genesis, you will see that the God of the Christians and the Jews, He said, let be light, and there was light. But you will not find in the whole Quran where Allah, He says, let be something, and He was. There's a verse in the Quran that says, the similarity of Jesus is the same as Adam. If God, he wanted him to be, he say be, and he was. But the fact, if we go and read in the Quran, we will find that the Quran is speaking clearly that Allah created Adam in stages. He made a clay, and then he breathed, and he make a, make a shape of the clay, and then he breathed in the clay, and that even took him a long time to finish it. He did not say be to Adam, he was. Now let us continue with the disaster. We go back to the article, so we don't miss the science. Of Islam I hope you guys are enjoying uh, watching uh, this uh, program with us and as I said don't forget to subscribe because we will give you versions at the end of the month me as a Christian Prince I am an Arab and I have connection I can speak to Allah in his language which you cannot do Allah listen only to Arabic Arabic in music Arabic belly dancers Arabic anything have to be Arabic it is the best language for Allah all right so if you, if you really care to have a version don't forget to subscribe so may Allah bless you with 70,000 version every one of them her ass is one mile which is really lovely I mean look at this God I'm amazing amazing he knew that the Arab men they love women with big ass but I never thought that Allah will go so big with the ass to the point he will make it one mile I mean this is unique imagine you are five foot tall and your wife, she have an ass of one mile. Ooh, mean, how beautiful that is. And your wife, she decided to jump in the top of you because she want to spoil you. She want to play with you. She want to sit in your lap. But the fact, you will disappear inside her anus, excuse me. Because a woman, she have an ass of one mile. You will go deep inside her anus and she will not even recognize that you are there. And there's no way to get out unless you fart again. So wait for it. 
And by the way, be careful if your wife, she have one mile ass and a guy is smoking a cigarette behind and she farted, that can be a mass destruction weapon because fart is a flammable. And imagine your wife, she have one mile ass, how much gas is going to come out? Wow. I mean, wow. We can burn a country with this fart. I hope the president of North Korea will not use this knowledge to create his coming powerful nuke to burn America with the fart of one mile ass. Let us continue. We go back to the article. All right, relax, relax. Forget about the big ass right now. It was, <clears throat> come on, I mean, take it easy. I know some of you are scared. You will not get married. You are scared to go home and you find your wife. She have a big ass like this. And no, my friend, it's all a fiction. I was joking. The prophet of Islam, he said that, but it's not going to happen. Look, look, look what the Muslim says. So the Christian believe that the universe created in six days rested in the seven. Muslims believe that six days based at God's throne, but we experienced 13.7 billion years on earth. The Muslims believe in that. Are you sure? Are you sure? Let us see if this is true or not. Now, who want to bet that we are going to get the Muslims busted 100%? Let us bet in YouTube. Who want to bet? By the way, do you, do you, do you want to bet that betting is haram? Yeah. There's two Muslim guys, guys, are arguing about betting is haram. So the first one, he said to the second one, okay, do you want to bet that betting is haram? Look, what the heck? I mean, how stupid the Abdul is. He want to bet that betting is haram? It'll be uh, continued. 